Hello everyone, welcome back to Razer Aerospace and Juno New Origins. I've been pondering the question of why I don't record more videos for Juno New Origins at once. Basically, at one sitting, why I don't do a whole bunch. And there's not as much flow to this as, for instance, to KSP right now. And the thing is the correspondence between the tech tree and the career mode contracts. Basically, the way that the contracts work in stock KSP or in the RP1 career that I'm doing right now, uh, there's always a contract that is leading you to need something new from the tech tree, right? And maybe for somebody else other than me, uh, they would experience that because they wouldn't have unlocked this as quickly as I did. But right now, the way I am, uh, I don't really need anything else, uh, particularly, at least not to fulfill the contracts that we have. And also, there isn't really another progression contract here. It, it doesn't feel like there is anything I need to progress towards, especially for the rockets. Uh, there is for the cars, <laughs> and there's a location for the planes. But for the rocket stuff, uh, there's just nothing I feel like I need need to do. Especially since I also have an enormous budget. And maybe uh, after the updates, the balance... Because uh, I got my budget before they adjusted the contract system and rebalanced the contracts. And perhaps now I wouldn't be having this budget. And it does look like these uh, offer, you know, a, a more moderate amount of money, like the lunar landing, instead of mil hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, like I got before for such such things. But also, the these contracts don't seem to uh, give me anything to the outer planets or something like that. Though, again, I've sort of already done some of that. Uh, some of the more complicated contracts. Let's see if we can just uh, refresh contracts here. We should still have the progression ones. Uh, yeah. Um, telescope, ocean delivery, CubeSat, CubeSat, CubeSat. So, I, I assume at some point we're going to get contracts like launch a druid somewhere because they've done the druid animations. And the launching the druid somewhere thing uh, would give us a more interesting situation, but I'm not getting any launch a druid somewhere contract. Yeah, maybe that's the thing and I'm just not getting them because I started to save early and if somebody starts to save now, they would get like druid contracts, I don't know. I haven't checked that. So anyway, that's just a thought. Uh, but we, I think, should continue our progression contracts such as we have them. And so the short route here is what I'm going to try to do. Um, but uh, the, this uh, caused me all sorts of problems, and it's about time we knocked it out. And I'm sure it'll be the, res the cause a lot of hilarity. So I'll accept that again. I thought I had accepted it before, but and we are going to load a car, a little little car. I don't know. I don't remember if this is a good car. Um, I do remember that people kept telling me about the center of mass being too high. If it's any lower, it's not gonna... I mean, uh, we don't have enough clearance if it's any lower. We get stuck on a rock or something, so... Uh, it's pretty darn low right now. And th with the Z-Craft, the one that uh, is meant to survive topples... Oh, uh, no, not Z-Car, X-Car. X-Car, which was meant to survive topples. Um, it's still... Oops, I always do that. Um, it still didn't survive very well, so we'll try we'll try the simpler one and see how it goes. Oh, it's all backwards. <laughs> yeah, somehow I've uh, got everything backwards. That's gonna be fun. Um. Can we reverse control on here somewhere? Oh, there's our plane still there. Well, doing well so far, but this was not a hard one. Okay, checkpoint three. Well, that's... Oh, well, I remember going up this way, so let's go up that way. It was like one of the last checkpoints that caused me 
a lot of problems. Ooh, ooh, okay, we spun out. Ooh. I was trying to break there, but um, I was definitely not having it on that slope. Oh gosh, this is a very bad edge. Oh, 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 we're hopping and going too fast. We're going too fast. Oh, we tumbled. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Okay. So that one's hard. I just need to be more careful about how I pick my path too. This, because we're going down, it picks up speed too quickly. And that's worse <laughs> afterwards gonna be worse all right well I'm just gonna retry uh, actually you know what maybe I should um, reverse the control so it's a little bit better for me well it says that's the pilot orientation but I swear everything is backwards so maybe it's the wheels okay oh the turning is still reversed still opposite what I expect Okay, that's one. Never the difficult one, though. Oh, 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 uh, okay, see, uh, now I did not expect it to do that. <laughs> that was not a... Not a bounce I was expecting. Okay, checkpoint four. Maybe my reverse is too strong, too. Could cause problems. I mean, there's the brakes, of course. Okay, trying to be careful here. Um, oh, I don't know. That's a pretty serious slope there. I don't know. An interesting shadow. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see here, that's definitely not a drop I want to do. In a way, we've got too much traction here because it sort of bursts us forward. Okay, there's another lip there. I remember messing up on this part, so. Oh boy. Um, can we do some go somewhere else? Okay, I guess we're going this way. Okay. Checkpoint six is a long way off. Okay. All right. Well, second to last one here. Uh, oh, we don't make hops right now. Every hop is a minor hard tech. 1.62 kilometers. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is dangerous. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going there. Let's go to the left. Guess it's at the bottom there. Mm, there are a lot of hop zones here. Should I keep going down? It looks like I should keep going down. Alright, there's sort of valley here. Let me try and go to the left to make it smoother. I don't want to mess up on the last one. Why am I getting Death Stranding flashbacks for some reason? Is the, there's a sort of up, up, up. squarish thing jutting out there. Is that like the runway edge? Hold on. Yeah, I guess we can go down here. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's that's where the 
the runway and everything are. I well, figured there wouldn't be something looking like that out of nowhere. Come on. Ooh, that's an edge. Okay, finally. Like the most difficult of all contracts in this game so far. Space contracts easy. Vehicle contracts hard. Okay, in flight. We're close enough. Let's just recover the darn thing. Alright, finally. Finally, that's been a while. Mountaineers, that doesn't sound good. Extreme sports. No, why does this have to be the progression sequence? Why can't we do something completely different? Same About the same length, it's just probably worse. Just It's just one... It seems like just going up one mountain though, not a whole bunch of waypoints, so maybe... Let's just try it. It says hard though. Oh no, there's eight. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of checkpoints. Gosh darn it. And it's where? There? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, no! Ah, oh, okay, I, I didn't realize it was like that. I should have used that ramp. You know what? Maybe I've done my one car thing for one, for an episode. Let's just not do that. Well, recover whatever piece we've got. I'm gonna try out this alley air race. At least it's on the alley runway, I believe. So that would be good for landing as opposed to the village runway. And we do have the Druidcraft starship. And I think we can get through 30 kilometers of checkpoints in under 10 minutes with this. Now, of course, the price of the Druidcraft starship is 15.4 million. And the reward here is 100,000 altogether. But we're not expecting to lose the Druidcraft starship. So, yeah. Clearly they were expecting me to do this with a smaller vehicle. Yeah, the launch fee is 390,000. So that's a bit of a pickle. I'm almost tempted to launch from the village runway and then travel over there. Uh, I'll, well, let's just go with it. I'm sure they weren't expecting me to use such a big and expensive vehicle for this particular thing. Okay, where is... Is that checkpoint one? I guess. Buzz the tower first kind of thing? Alright, well, here we go. Oh, we only have partial fuel, too, but that's probably for the best. I should have put a camera again. Ah, uh, oh, I missed it. Oh, this is gonna be tough. We don't really need to go that fast. <laughs> this thing can go much faster than we need to. Oh, this is not good. Uh! Okay. Why are they putting all the checkpoints on the side of mountains? I guess this is supposed to be like a canyon run kind of thing. It's not going to end up that way. Oh, maybe, maybe it has to end up that way. <laughs> I'll have to come back around from the other side. But they're giving us 10 minutes to do this. I really need the contract thing up to see how many of these there are. But I'm too busy controlling it. Oh, okay. That's too close. 
is drastic overkill for this particular purpose. It's supposedly a small little cute propeller plane, I'm sure. I want a long range race. All this winding stuff. This is more like a drag racer or something like that. Good old straight line. Okay, that's the last one. It's probably the runway. Okay. That's too fast. I needed air brakes on this. Well, we'll just fly above it a bit. Okay, well, I'll come back around to land. Going too fast. This gives a much more Edwards Air Force Base feel than the village runway, thankfully. Much more at ease about things. Uh. All right, but we landed safely. And we can recover craft. We better, 15.4 million, darn it. Okay, so we did that one. Now it's giving us a shorter race, five minutes, and less money. I already did alley race round one anyway. Hmm. Well, this one's 60 kilometers, 10 minutes. Let's just quickly try that. But this alley race is a progression one now. Oh, all right, let's do it. Now, uh, we I need to make our plane smaller, though. Otherwise, we're going to keep losing money on the launch. I mean, the jet engine is 10.6 million of the hour 11.2 million cost right now. Let's see, what do we really need? Not in vacuum. Now that's a nice 3.2 million. Make it more of a turbofan with a bypass ratio. That reduces the cost, interestingly enough, but reduces the thrust weight ratio as well. Just have size 100%. That's much, 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 much cheaper. Okay, maybe this will be more suited to our races and purposes. 44 minute burn time though is hardly anything that we need. Uh, that's the center of mass and center of lift right now. Well, we do have the wings tilted up a bit. Thickness here. So much. Alright, so I'm gonna call this the... Mini. Uh, well, we'll just put Mini at the end. Or should I call it EZ or something? Okay. Let's try it. Still an obscene cost to launch this. Okay, well the start checkpoint is not near the tower this time. Okay. Okay, we can... Take off at like 60-ish, 70-ish. Oh, the start checkpoint is on the other runway. Great. Uh, I'm not gonna make that. Oh, okay, it took it. Really, the end of the runway? That's silly. Okay, where are next? I guess they're doing a base tour or something. Oh, I didn't hit that one. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> okay, well, it's so low. I mean, what can I do? What's the contract going like? Uh, 
Three minutes left. Uh oh. Wait a second. Is that in the hangar? Okay. I don't think this plane is gonna have tough with tough time with that. Oh, there's too many lips around. Ow. Okay. 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 This is way too big a plane for what they're trying to get us to do. We probably don't even want a drood on it. Moving too fast. Ah, whatever then. It was cheaper anyway. Okay, let's not do that one. We'll have to build something different for that. This one's a 80 kilometer thing. But it's probably at the village runway. And the reason I have trepidation with that is because... Landing. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I was trying to reach for this. 15 checkpoints. Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, I didn't clip that. Well, this game does have some interesting air races. I mean, it'd be nice to have c competitors, but interesting halves, for sure. There should be more air race games. Why are there not more air race games, actually? Well, I'm way behind here. Oop, that's not good. Oh, 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 I damaged my fuel tank. Okay, next. Okay, oh, great. This sort. This is basically the same path, right? There's another one. I mean, at least I remember that checkpoint. Oh, probably that one too. Oh, oh this one. Yeah, I remember these. Ah, ah. Ah. Maybe we should do space things. We do have these vehicle container missions. There's this ocean delivery one, but I don't know about that. And then there's this commercial pilot one, it's a supplies container. Not too sure how that's going to work for our shuttle, but maybe, maybe in the next video, I'm going to try those and see how the shuttle might be able to handle those. Though our shuttle is very expensive compared to what they're paying us. so. We'll see how big the containers are and try and figure out what would be best for them. Alright, I think I've had enough chaos for one episode. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.